Alright, welcome back. The last video of uh main game. And then I'll be the challenges, which I'm not doing tonight. More just cause I really, really just don't want to more than because I've been playing this for a long time. I was expecting some of the earlier videos to- Oh. This is not what I thought this was. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. those three first actually because since the last one is so close to the medical facility I'm not exactly too worried about that I yeah, medical facility is gonna be missing a lot in a feeling it's definitely gonna be a lot more than a penitentiary all right so looks like there's a vent there Yeah, city will be, uh, not for a little while. That was just the challenge for Invisible Predator? Holy shit. Is it just up here? No. Am I on it? Yes. Is it above me? It might be on the other. It might be through this door. Up here. I remember this now. Yep. That was the one that didn't have anything on it. That actually makes sense because. The last one outside. facility and then penitentiary and then we're done with the main game patient interview 44 this is yet another interview with edward nigma i have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded but whichever one he is just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting hello miss young you look tired. Anything you need my help with? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well, you're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry. I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down.
yeah, there's a, a majority of what I'm missing is downstairs. Actually, I'm not even missing that much in here. I mean, I'm not saying I'm missing, like, Can nothing, but it's definitely a lot less than I was expecting. Alfred. Alfred Pennyworth, after a varied career, was employed by, as the Wayne family's butler when Bruce Wayne's parents were killed. Alfred raised the young orphan and reluctantly aided him in his quest to become the Batman. His many skills, ranging from cooking to medicine, make him Batman's staunchest ally, along with a formal demeanor that grounds the Dark Knight and deflects those who might otherwise suspect Bruce Wayne's true identity. Okay. Yeah, I mean, a majority of what I'm missing is in, obviously still missing some in the, uh, Most well, of what I'm missing is in here, and, I mean, surprisingly, actually, even if I tried to come back and grab this one, I wouldn't have been able to until now. Yet again, I found myself watching him. No one can provide a cure. He laughs in the face of those who try. Amadeus would not have let him live, and neither should I. One last sip of cognac, and I was ready. That's more in the area of like where you actually have to get down because obviously the elevator doesn't just work. Because why would a normal elevator just decide to work? Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are mm -hmm. here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, you would believe it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various soap. Minus the downstairs area, actually even the downstairs area, like, most of this area you actually can't come back to unless it's late game. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that one to be there as well. Okay. Now you just will allow me to? Okay. He watched as I entered the cell. He smiled as I showed him the knife. I told him how I will use it. How I will cleanse this city. And then... Terror. I was paralyzed. I struggled. I screamed. But I was silent. The monster looked at me. Expressionless. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. A smile cracked across his horrible porcelain face, and I heard the filth fall from his mouth. He laughed and called me that horrible name. Okay, the rest of, uh... Okay, yeah, there are some in each of those rooms. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, your psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various for criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half normal but troubled individuals. I don't think that many super criminals actually got like can be found at the front fixed desk here or at www. Like, I, I don't think they actually, like... Just 
Riddler. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here. Psychiatric Evaluation and Rehabilitation Center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called Oh. Normally I like fireworks, but well, you know. Fireworks. What's there to celebrate? Yeah, it's just like, some of these things, it's just like, they made it so that you have to backtrack in the game. It's just like, really? Like, I understand some of these, but like, as many as they're making, Arkham like, Asylum. you're making me go back Our to all three rooms to, help you. to backtrack? Like, I mean, I guess you could come in here, like, after the penitentiary, or... Yeah. Probably after the penitentiary, because at least knows the stories of the then you'll so have... Sequencer thing. Just climb up the water. Oh, I guess that this was a separate one, but that's alright. shaft itself? No. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. It kind of <laughs> like What's the one of keeping someone's office? If like, I, mean, I guess I understand if you, they they don't have anyone else to move in it, but like, still. Stupid fucking face! Edward, please, calm down. Quit the Gotham! <laughs> no sane, law-abiding man does those things. 
little, uh, little out there. Or just you turn I don't need to do this, but I'm just gonna do this anyways. The only thing I don't particularly like about this area is that, like, I understand going back with the elevator shaft, but, like, this room specifically, there's no real way to easily just get back. Okay, so there's, yeah, so it's right here, and that's you know, where the other ones are at. Because the other one. That's the medical facility. Only the penitentiary left. Which is shaping up to be another 30 minute video of extras. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> 